Mr. <coughs> Barfield, it's such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Uh, I'll pick up from where you left. Bartek mm -hmm. Group is one of the foremost organizations in the world now in staffing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it takes a lot more than one person to build this such huge company. You talked about the gentleman in Alabama who helped you and your wife's inspiration. Uh, people here who are entrepreneurs would like to learn that for a man to tread this beautiful journey for so many years, there's a lot of milestones you achieve, and along the way you find your inspiration. So my first question is on inspiration. How do you spot that? How do you want for the right people to inspire you and move to the next step? Again, please. The inspiration is very important. Yes. And finding the right people who inspire you along the way for your next step is, is very critical and does it take more than a normal person to identify those people who help you along the way to inspire you to move to the next step well I quit school in the in the 10th grade it's one of the great mistakes of my life uh, I started my first business which was cleaning houses in, in Ann Arbor uh, I do I did know how to clean houses but I knew little else uh, I had worked for the University of Michigan for uh, six years, and uh, I had married, and uh, I did not earn enough money to uh, provide adequately for my family. I didn't want my wife and my children uh, to have the kind of life that, that my sister and I had had. I wanted to give them good educations and all of that, so I started our first business. Uh, I didn't need anyone at that time to help me because I knew how to clean. But as I went out and started other businesses, like a manufacturing business and uh, our uh, 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 staffing service, I needed people. And I made the, uh, I knew at a very early age that in order to be successful, I had to supplement my lack of knowledge with the knowledge of people. And I found a remarkable man named, man named Charles Ford. And I hired Charles. And I said, Charles, I've got this wonderful opportunity, but I need you to help me take advantage of it. He came. And that was the beginning of Bartek. It started with six kids from the community college uh, 40 years ago, and today it's grown to over 3,000 employees. So finding the right people was something I was pretty good at doing. Uh, I did the same thing with my manufacturing company, and I did the same thing with other companies that we founded. I always made it a point to find people uh, that knew more than I did about what I was trying to accomplish, rather than trying to learn on the job, which I think is one of the biggest mistakes some entrepreneurs make. Very a good point. A leader's role is to empower other leaders in the organization, let them lead from the front. Mm -hmm. And his organization is all, also an extension of the leader's personality and personal integrity. Some thoughts on that? Yeah. Well, I, I think the, for me, uh, what has attributed, contributed most to my success is that I have been able to communicate with the people that I hired. I told uh, my organization, and there's a sign in my office, said, remember that this business was built on the quality of our services, being good and, and fair uh, to our employees and customers and being good corporate citizens. We've tried to do that all the years that we've been in business. And the examples that uh, we have tried to, to, uh, uh, to uh, show our uh, employees, I think, has been very, very responsible for where we have been able to travel to this time. At Thai, we fundamentally believe in fostering entrepreneurship, and startup is what we do, and we do it really well. And the, one of the critical uh, struggles for our startup entrepreneurs, and the first thing you always ask is, how do I get my funding? And we tell them funding is not the first thing you should focus on. Focus on your business. Again, your thoughts. Well, uh, my, my, uh, my book is called Starting from Scratch, and that's what I did. I never got a loan. Uh, I started uh, cleaning houses on the north side of Ann Arbor. Uh, I, had, I had bought a house from a, a contract in Ann Arbor named William Nimke. He had bought this house on a tax sale for $500. He was going to fix it up and sell it. Uh, the house had been vacant for 12 years. It was a mess. Uh, I showed it to my wife and said, Johnny, I don't want to live there. And, and I, I said, no, you know, we can make this to be a, a, a beautiful home. So what my wife saw as a shack, I saw as a house with uh, shutters on it and a yard and uh, 
a beautiful place. So we moved in that house and we stayed there for seven years. And I'll tell you, it was the best seven years of my life. If I could go back to that time now, after having lived in beautiful neighborhoods and beautiful homes, that would be one of the periods of my life that I would go back to. But I, uh, I, I, uh, I didn't have any money. I had a $500 house. I had a second-hand Ford, motor, uh, Ford uh, station wagon. I filled it up one day with ladders and brooms and mops. And I went to the contractors in Ann Arbor and I said, let me clean your houses. These uh, houses, newly homes, new homes were being built by uh, union workers who really didn't want to do this work. And I said, I can do this work better than they're doing it. I can do it quicker than they're doing it. I can eliminate your, eliminate your complaints. And, uh, and, and I could, uh, uh, I could uh, do it at a better price. They gave me that opportunity. And before long, I was cleaning houses. And shortly, I was cleaning more houses in Ann Arbor than anyone else. I expanded to other parts of the state. And uh, from there, we went into contract cleaning of major buildings. And uh, we just went on from there. But I didn't have any money uh, to start with. I started from scratch. Uh, the only loan that I ever made uh, in the first five years of my business was a million dollar loan from the Ypsilanti Savings Bank. And that was when I started Barfield Manufacturing Company. The other important component for uh, entrepreneurs is penetrating the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And the Bartek is in a very, very tough space, but you have done it so well. Is there a healthy competition? Do you believe in healthy competition? In healthy competition in the market. Yes, I do. I do believe in healthy competition in the market, and I think it's very good. Uh, my son David, I, I don't think David is here today. Uh, I started the, the business, and uh, all of most of the members of my family at one time worked in the, in the business. Uh, and I've had, we've had competition uh, of all the years that we've been in business, but competition, competing with employees don't mean that you, uh, complete, competing uh, for business don't mean you fight your competitors. Sometimes it's good to go along with them and work together, and this is what I've tried to do. But I do think that uh, healthy competition is a very essential thing to good business. It's been a pleasure on behalf of everyone here. Thank you so much for coming and giving us this opportunity. Well, thank you. Thanks.